I, I hope you're doing awesome. So the question we are seeing today is print zigzag. It is actually one of the most foundational question of recursion. It will help you to understand that how each line of recursion is being executed. So it's going to be a long question. It's going to be a long video and, and a lengthy dry run. So, but it will certainly teach you a lot, a lot about recursion, right? So stay with me and let's get started with it. So what have we studied up till now is the one call recursion, right? One call recursion, we make any recursion call. Anything which is being done before the recursive call, it's called pre-order. And anything that gets done after the recursive call is being made, is called post-order, right? If you don't know that, that's perfectly fine. Just uh, know it now. Now, after that, what happens is, if we have two calls instead of one, right? So we have this one call, this second call, right? Anything which gets done before any of the recursive call is made is called the pre-order working. Anything which uh, gets done between uh, these two recursive lines, that is, the first recursive call is, be, uh, is already made and the second is yet to be made. So this is called in order between the recursive calls. And anything which is uh, done after both the recursive calls are made is called post order. Right. And this is really fundamental thing about recursion. It will help you to actually guess the output and also write better codes, right? Because if you have the command that uh, which line goes where, that's that's uh, when you produce powerful code, right? So let's get started. Um, let's see what has been given the question. So I'll write a code first and then we'll derive what output does it produce, right? So let's say we have a function called f-u-n-c and it takes an argument in, right? And what do we do is we see so free and the value of n, right? And free is actually in string, so yeah. Then we make a recursive call that is function of n minus one. We make this print statement again, see so. Uh, this one is now in order, right? Because one call is already made and the second is not made yet. There are going to be two calls as you must have guessed up till now. So it's going to be in n. Then the second recursive call gets made, that is n minus one. And then the last print statement that is CISO of post, right? Because both the, both, both the calls are made now. So we'll write post of n, right? So these are the five lines uh, we need to do. Let's number them. Two, three, four, five, right. And two is gonna be a lengthy input. Uh, sorry, three is gonna be a lengthy input, but uh, okay, let's do it for three only. Let's suppose n at this moment is three. For the initial stage, the n to the function was provided three, right? So we we'll make a tree here. It starts from here, three. Now, when the first statement is um, executed, so I'll put a dot here, right? And here I will be writing my output. So the first statement is pre of n, that is pre of three, right? Then the second statement that is function of n minus one. So it makes another call that is, um, it will get two because the new function is uh, being started. Now the second call is, uh, the second statement has run because it has made the first call, right? Now for the, for the um, new input here, now uh, the input is two, the value of n provided to the function is now two. First statement will be executed. That is, uh, let me just erase it. That is printing statement. It will write print three, two, right? And after that second statement, that is three of n minus one. So here n minus one is one. And after making the call, you put a dot here because we have already run the second statement, right? For n equal to one, we print it, that is three of one. We make one more call, that is for n equal to zero. Now that's the thing in recursion. If I don't stop it anywhere, it will uh, start an infinite uh, proceeding, right? Because it will go for n minus, uh, n equal to minus one, minus two, minus three, and it, it won't know that where to stop and eventually result in stack overflow. So I'll need a base case here. So let's say base case is that if at any time my n becomes zero, so we return from there, right? We don't do anything about it. 
okay so yeah so from zero we actually returned now the two statement for one are already executed now it's time for third statement that is CISO in n and at this moment is one so it will print in of n now after the third statement it again makes uh, a recursive call for zero and we put here zero won't do anything it will return so finally the fifth statement that is post of n that is post of right after the five statements are made we pass our hold or uh, the hold of the program to uh, line the input number two right here this call here now two statements were executed at this time the third statement is in of n n is two so we'll write in of right the fourth statement is make a call again for n minus one so the third statement is executed we make a call for n equal to one the fifth uh, the fourth statement is executed now right okay after that the first statement for one will be executed that is three of one second statement it will make a call for n equal to zero third statement that is in of and from zero of course it will return right because it's from the base case so it will return the third statement that is in of n right the fourth statement it will make a call again for zero which will do nothing in return and then finally the fifth statement that is post of one now the hold come back to two and four statements are executed so the fifth statement now is post of n that is post of n right now after all the statements for two are um, the fifth statement is ex executed that is we have already printed the post one the hold comes down to three right so for three only two statements are executed as of now this one and this one the third statement is CISO in n that is in of three right okay so after that three statements are executed now the fourth statement will make one more call for n minus one that is two here and eventually the first statement for two will be uh, done see i told you it's gonna be a long one right that is pre of two for the second statement will make a call that is for one which will do pre of one uh, the second statement will make a call for zero and the third statement will do in of one the fourth statement will make a call of zero again so let's see here fifth statement will write post of one right for this one the working has been done so the hold now comes out to two by the third statement it makes one more call call for one that is let's write here now that is three of one now the command goes to zero that is one more one more call is made for one zero and it'll it'll get returned because it's the base case the third statement will now right um sorry in off right the fourth statement will again start a call that is for zero which will do nothing and the fifth statement will write post of one now the command will get back to two that is it will make the it should be four uh, right because the second call is made now the final statement for two that is post of two and it will it will now um, carry the command or the whole to three right and for this uh, four statements are already executed the fifth statement will print post of three. it was a lengthy lengthy uh, output but this is the final working of the program right and I hope uh, you know now that how it's achieved, right? And if you don't, it's actually a complex working. So I want you to rewind the video and watch it again, or perhaps watch it twice again. Let's see that how a little short method of doing the same, right? That's called the Euler trace, Euler path tracing. Let's see. For three, we know that two uh, of the two of the calls are being made, right? So three will make two calls that is for two and two two will make two calls for one and one for one and one and one will eventually make two calls for zero 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 right now let's see what happens when we start moving we start from the left side left side 
and when we are on the left side uh, we always do the working for the pre order right so when we are on the left side we'll do what is being done is in the pre order right that is ciso pre op n which is this then we move here now we are on the left side of 2 so pre op 2 that is here after that we are on the left side of 1 that is pre op 1 then on 0 we actually never hit this pre side because from uh, from any for n equal to 0 we return from the first statement only so we'll return now when we are in this valley region right when we are in this valley region we are actually doing the in order task of this this uh, input right for n equal to 1 what is the in order statement that is in of 1 so we execute this after that we move up for 0 we do nothing now i'm on the right side see i'm on the right side of 2 sorry uh, right side of 1 now when i'm on the right side i'm actually executing the post order statements now so it will write post -order. After that, I go down. Now I'm again in the valley region. So I do the working for in order of two. That is in of two, right? So in of two is executed. Now I again move up. Now on the left side of one, that is pre of one. For zero, I do nothing. For the valley region, that is in order. Hence in of one. For zero, I do nothing. I'm on the right side of one. That is post of one. So I write post of one. I fall down. I'm on the right side of 2 now, that is post of 2. I'm in the valley region for 3, that is in of 3. Now I'm on uh, the left side of 2 again, right? That is pre of 2 again. Left side of 1, that is pre of 1. For 0, I do nothing. Now it's the value of 1, that is in order of 1. I move out. Now I'm on the right side of 1, that is post of 1. Now I'm in the valley region again for uh, n equal to 2. So I write actually i didn't write okay so perhaps there is a small mistake that i didn't do in of two right here it should be uh in of two i somehow missed it but it's okay right so it should be in of two now i move to the left side of one that is a uh, pre of one of course now the valley region for one that is in of one now the right side of one that is post of one now I move to the right side of 2, that is post of 2, and right side of 3, that is post of 3, right? So I think now you know that how to actually trace the path and how to guess what is being done um, from all the calls, right? Now I think you are um, powerful enough to have the hold of your recursion calls. So if you liked the video, kindly press that like button. Oh, but before that, we actually didn't submit the code, right? Sorry for that. So, this is the question we have given an input int n is equals to is the n dot next int we didn't make the object so we'll make it now object of the scanner class scanner scn is equals to a new scanner system dot in right Now we have taken the input, we make the function call that is pzz of n, right? Now this is pre-order working. What we do is system dot out dot print. We actually need to print it in one line. So this will be n and a space, right? Now we make first call that is pzz of n minus 1. Now we'll make the in order working that is system dot out dot print n plus space. Now we'll do the uh, the second call. Second call that is pzz of n minus 1. So I must be obstructing the view, so I'll just make it full screen. Now the final here, post order working. Right? That is system dot out dot print n plus space. Right. So I think it's in order. Now let's try to run it once. So there's a compilation error that 
size method okay so it should be print not yeah and let's try to run it again it was a typo okay so it's taking a little time just stay with me and here we have okay so yeah of course we forgot to put a base case right the recursion will never stop in that case if n ever becomes zero we need to return from here so now hopefully it should run this time yeah it's getting accepted let's try to submit it base case is really important otherwise recursion will continue to run forever right so it's uh, getting submitted well so i hope you liked the video kindly press that like button and subscribe to the channel thank you very much